okay to record the process? Moving, packing up. Hmm? Say hi. Smile for the camera. In the month of May, my aunt told me that she was offered a new job in Oregon and wanted to know if I would possibly move with her and my little cousin all the way to Oregon to live with them. I didn't really know at the time, so I decided to look into if there were any schools because I'm still in college and see if there were any alternatives there. Maybe I could transfer, but the closest school was about like four hours away. So I decided I have about two years left. Let me just finish it out here in Virginia and I might possibly just go out and visit them from time to time. So I told her around July that I would stay and I'll just finish out school here in Mary Washington. Hi! Um, I don't know if this is a welcome or welcome back to the channel because um, it's not like I'm starting it here but I'm at school and I just picked up my room key so my car is like filled with all of my stuff and there's some in my trunk and some in my friend's car so we are about to go to my dorm to go unload the car and put my stuff in because <laughs> our garage got really full with all of the stuff that we have i will talk to you guys when i'm I'm sorry, like, there's so many people, like, moving around, I just, it gets awkward. Um, but I'm gonna see you guys in my new room. Quick update. The fan is blowing, so it's gonna be super loud in here. That's gonna be annoying if I'm gonna be recording in this room a lot. But, um, I cannot move this bed. We cannot get rid of the bed at all, so I have to, like, live with an extra bed table chair extra stuff <sighs> I'm debating if I should just like loft my bed because I feel like there is the space to do that and I think I might do that so I can create more space for myself to move around and stuff um, and honestly you help me keep my place clean so I think I'm just gonna do that save myself like all the extra stuff um, so we're gonna see if we can loft it. I think it's gonna be enough space. Um, and I also have like room still above my head. And then I'm gonna move stuff around a little bit. I'm debating if my roommate and I are gonna share the extra closet and stuff. I think we're gonna share some things um, since we have like an extra thing. I don't know. We're told I'm not supposed to use it. I don't know if we're gonna listen to that, but <sighs> we're gonna see. Let's get this update. Cannot lock the bed at the moment, but we will do it another time. Maybe tomorrow or Saturday. These fans are loud. All the fans are loud. Not even steady. How am I gonna record? How am I going to? Cause like half the noise is coming from the. It's an old building. But Orion and I are going to pick up my stuff and then fill up the room so <sighs> we'll time lapse that i moved onto campus five days earlier because my best friend orion was available that thursday to help me move my bigger items which helped me a lot because on saturday i didn't have anyone around to help me so i moved everything in myself i also had these two girls help me out isabel my little cousin and izzy my neighbor's daughter um, also helped me out on that day um, so it really did just make moving easier for me when Saturday came around
so on Friday I came in and decided to just clean up the place and have it ready for me to move in or like just arrange my stuff um, I think this was also the day that I was able to get a lofting kit to loft my bed so as you can see I'm just like just trying to wipe everything down I'm pretty sure the cleaners did their cleaning routine but I felt comfortable cleaning up everything I was about to touch and use before I actually used, um, put stuff in them and put stuff on the surface of them in my bed I cannot find the video of me lofting my bed but it was a really interesting process because my RA I felt like he he didn't really know what he was doing exactly and I don't blame him I think he was new and I've lofted my bed about three times actually about twice yeah two times so I kind of need the process so it was it was a struggle definitely need stronger people to do this and even lifting up this dresser was a pain because that was heavy Ugh, my back hurts looking at that but later you will see that I changed the position of that because there was a little gap in there and I I was scared I was gonna drop things in between my desk and the dresser so I this dresser fit perfectly into the space um, I didn't really have any plans with just the whole arranging of stuff. I just did what was familiar to me and I've done this for, like I said, two years in the same way. Just put my desk underneath, put my dresser underneath um, and just, yeah, it just saves me a lot more. It saves me a lot more space to do, to move around and just like feel like nothing is cluttered in a way I did this for the majority of Friday and I didn't really record the moving process on Saturday I think yeah just because I was a by myself and there were a lot of people so <sighs> yeah I was nervous about doing um, I will say this dresser did end up, there were two extras, so I put one underneath my desk and then one was on my roommate's side, but she said she didn't need it, so later on I switched out the lower, I switched out the smaller um, dresser for the bigger one and that made, gave me a lot more space to put my clothes and all of that. I hope you guys forgive me with the oversaturation in this part of the vlog, but I was gonna give you, well, I am going to give you a tour of the house really quickly. Well, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably like six minutes of footage, but. Once you walk in, that was our coat closet. Um, didn't do a good job of showing you that part uh, and then right here was our guest bathroom I guess I don't know it was like a powder room kind of yeah and give it some time for the camera to adjust to the light and it was pretty small for the most part it was yeah you just use the bathroom and that's it don't shower it was like a half yeah it's a half bath yeah that's what it is and here is our basement. Um, this is where we do our laundry. This is where you saw one of my workout videos and we stored a lot of our stuff down here. A lot of our cleaning supplies and boxes for the TV and stuff. Obviously, all of this has been packed up and been put in the garage. And I came home to do some laundry as well. <laughs> and going upstairs anytime soon it's pretty dark in this video now i'm looking at it oh we love the commentary yes so now we are where are we which direction are we going in Dana? 
Okay, so this was our living room. Um, we had the couch in that corner. It was like, it's not an L couch, but and then in that corner, um, opposite the plant, we had my aunt's desk area. There was a tall plant there. This used to be a dining area. We had a dining table here, the coffee table, the wine cellar. Okay, this is hard to like describe without everything in place, but this was like Izzy's play area. And then we have the back, the deck. Yeah, the deck. This is where we put new furniture out. We did some grilling. Ah, oh, the grill is gone. My plant that got infected. This is chaotic, not chaotic, but there's a lot going on. Uh, this was my aunt's like little vegetable station. She grew her vegetables there. And the kitchen with all of its last glory. <laughs> the fridge is so empty. Oh my gosh. Wow. So was the freezer. Oh my goodness. It really hit me in this moment that like this would be the last time of me being in this house just seen everything gone the lighting is so bad why is the lighting so bad and then our pantry which was also empty we had our spices our rice our cereals medicine it was an everything cabinet the dishwasher that I love to use but wasn't able to use a lot and now we go upstairs to the rooms and the yeah, other two bathrooms. So to the left, we go straight into my aunt's bedroom. So this was the master. You can see the imprints of the bed frame and the nightstands and the dresser that she had. And then we go into her bathroom, which also had her closet in here. And this was her walk-in closet. It's pretty nice, pretty spacious. I absolutely wanted this for myself, but I didn't have, I didn't own the master. I don't own this house, so I'm gonna have it. But this was the, yeah, her bathroom. Mirror, lovely mirror, hi. And her standing shower, which... I don't know, I kind of like our tub more than hers, honestly. So, and now we go into our bathroom, this our meaning my cousin and I. Did you not turn on the light? Oh my gosh. Turn on the light, please turn on the light. Dana, turn on the light. I did not turn, oh my lord. Well, forgive me. Forgive me, because I don't even understand it myself. And here is Isabel's room. This is Isabel's room. Um, I don't know much to explain about this room, honestly. Her bookshelf was in that corner, and that was her closet with her many clothes. Ugh, kind of miss picking out dresses for her. left that's just my stuff now so that's fun I'm hot <sighs> I want to cry but I'm like trying to hold my tears in because I'm like <sighs> I didn't think it's gonna hit me as much but then I walked in the house and it was just empty and everything was gone and I was just like this is it this is 
it and <sighs> there's no going back there's like no going back from here and I, I don't I thought I'll be okay but maybe I'm not as okay as I thought I'll be I'm like trying to convince myself that I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be fine because this is literally gonna just be it's literally gonna just be me now because my entire life I've been living with family and like granted I moved away from my family when I was 15 years old to come here and just live here with my aunt this is the first time that I'm truly gonna be independent and just live. I have no house that's close by to go to anymore. I have to drive out an hour or two just to get to the nearest family. And it's so weird because it's like I've spent seven years of my life with my aunt and she has really grown on me. I know we've had like our <laughs> little squabbles here and there. Um, I know I've learned to just be with her and stuff like that, but now I'm just like, I'm gonna be by myself now. <laughs> I don't know. When I was in Ghana and finishing my BECE, which is a standard test before you get into high school um my dad told me that i was gonna come to the united states to coming back here to live with my aunt well i guess i have to go back <laughs> um i was born in albany new york i spent about five years of my life in south carolina and i think one a few months in ghana when i was a wee little baby with my grandma <laughs> My entire family, that is my mom, dad, and my twin brothers, um, all moved to Ghana um, in 2006. And so I spent, I spent 10 years in Ghana. My brothers and my mom and dad are still out. Yeah, so I spent 10 years in Ghana, which was really fun time. I grew up basically there, so yeah. And I moved back here um, in 2016 when I finished my BEC, and I thought then I would. <laughs> I thought it. I yeah. I thought I'd be living by myself, kind of, or like I thought it was freedom. I thought I'd have so much freedom to do so much things, which I did get some freedom. I would say I did get some freedom. Um, I was able to work a job, got paid, I had my own bank account and stuff like that it was fun um so yeah i mean i got my own car and all of that well no <laughs> but yeah my journey back in the united states started in oregon which is where my aunt and Izzy are going back to um in the same little town that we used to live in um, and stuff so yeah i spent a year and a half in Oregon so I did my sophomore year of high school and the first semester of my junior year and um, by the end of my sophomore year my aunt moved to Louisiana because she got a new job there but I had started well actually no in the middle of my junior year kind of or I think I started junior year my aunt moved to Louisiana because she got another job so I ended up staying with a good couple that we I knew of and they worked at the school as well so after the first semester of my junior year I traveled down to Louisiana we lived in Baton Rouge for well she my aunt and Izzy lived for a year I lived for like a half a year because I came in the other half so I did my junior second semester in Baton Rouge Louisiana and then before my senior year of high school, we moved to Virginia, <laughs> yeah, where my aunt got a job at 
the university, um, Mary Walsh, um, which is where I'm at right now. Go Eagles! <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been a very interesting journey. Just like for her, it's like she's going right back to where like Izzy was born and stuff like that. I'm still here and I don't know where my journey's going, but at the same time too, it's the beginning to a journey for me. It's an end of a well, it's an end of a journey living with family, being dependent on family and stuff like that. But now I'm entering into a journey of independence, which <sighs> it's already scary as it is. Like I was already stressing when I was with my family and now I have to do things kind of by myself for the most part without having a lot of family to lean on. So like it, it was exciting at first moving, like leaving my family. Like it was sad because I was leaving them, but I was also excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to do my own things. Getting on a plane by myself, even though I was with a family friend, I didn't know her. But yeah, that whole journey was by myself in a way. I had no family, nothing. I was just me, my God. Yeah, me and my God. <laughs> Just traveling across the ocean to the other part of the world um, and, and here I am kind of scared into going into this journey but at the same time excited to see where I'm end up, gonna end up um, I think the reason why I'm not as excited as I, as I would be is because like I'm still trying to figure out school and stuff like that so but at the same time too I'm having a new appreciation for that because I have a little bit of extra time to like figure things out and maybe I need it and I just didn't know about it so I'm gonna see it as a good thing and keep on moving. I'm just excited for my aunt and Izzy to see what adventures they're gonna be on because it's gonna be themselves. I'm also excited for myself to see how I'm gonna handle certain things and stuff like that and just where am I gonna go <laughs> that's the question where am I gonna go um, I, I don't know I don't know again I wish that I don't know I wish that I don't know what I wish for honestly I wish that everyone has God protecting them I just really wish that everyone stays safe wherever they are and that they step into a season of blessings and greatness in whatever they do and that they enjoy the life that they are in. They just have a good head on their shoulders because everyone needs a good head on their shoulders if they want to survive in this world. I can't wait for us to all come back together, whether it be family dinner, family vacation, just a random meetup. I can't wait for everyone to just meet together and just share what they've been through, the good and the bad, especially the good. It hit me one time. I was talking with my aunt on the phone um, and I just realized this is how I'm gonna be communicating with her every single day. Well, not every single day, obviously, but like if I meet anything, she's three hours away from me. Um, Time zone wise, she's about like eight, like eight hours away distance, or like, yeah. And I have to talk to her through the phone. And I mean, I'm fine doing that with Isabel. <laughs> I'm cool, I can call her anytime I want. But I miss the fact that I'm gonna have to talk to her on the phone every time and not see her in person. I had so many memories in this room. Like building everything in my room, purchasing everything, almost everything in my room for the most part. Like I built these drawers myself. I was the handyman of this house. So like a lot of things I had to build. Like how I had my room at first, like my bed was 
in this area by the mirror and then later I ended up there and then I got this dresser and I got a table. Everything just like... I'm gonna miss this place and... But um, I think, I don't know if I'm gonna end the video off here. I probably should. Well, thank you guys for watching. It might have been very chaotic. It might have not been chaotic. I genuinely don't know how all of this is gonna be because me putting it all together was very complicated. Or like, not putting it all together, but me recording and filming. It was all a blur, honestly. Days I pick up the camera where I don't. And stuff like that. I don't even remember some of the clips I picked up or filmed. So I don't know where this is going to be. I don't know how this is going to end. But I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you guys next time in the next vlog. Bye.